Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing After Party. So, and actually I think I have to do this again real quick, but we're trying to get into Lucifer's party. As if we can get into Lucifer's party and out drink and out party him, there is a chance that we might be able to um, get out of hell. So, I don't think I did this, or at least it saved automatically after I, uh, before I did this. So. Is this the, uh, the VIP entrance? What gave it away? Was it the everything? Move to the side if you don't have passes. Okay, you're a demon with needs, I'm a demon- a human with needs. What can we do to make this happen? You can go and get yourself an invitation. Are you sure? Wait, you know? Actually, let me check my math on- yep, that would be the only thing. <sighs> okay. Oh, we need an invitation? Looks like those guys weren't kidding. I think we need to get an invite. You do. Yep, we should regroup with Sam, figure out our next step. This is a dead end. It is. All right. And this time, I actually have a controller that functions with it. I had to find my old my uh, old Xbox controller, and it turns out Bluetooth functions. So things like the menu button actually work now. So we had two text messages that they found on the social. Uh, I probably can't bring them up on here because I think this chain thing changes constantly. But nonetheless, somewhere in here are two people who are interested in giving up some tickets. I forget exactly who they were or where that's one right there. So, these two right here. Fella Nostron, uh, Nostron School. And really, uh, in DeLandon. Either way. <laughs> or real Linda Landon. Landon. There we go, Linda Landon. So Linda's looking for a margarita, but it doesn't say where they're at. And this guy's looking for uh, some help with finding somebody. Both of them have spare tickets, so we're going to go ahead and find a place to go to. It's a choice of Boba Lynn Park in the River of Fire. Or or a little, little Rantalia that's on the border of Tartarus, Tartarus and Fel uh, Fle uh, Phlegaton. Blah. <laughs> All the rivers and stuff and islands they have. I think we'll start with the leftmost with Boba Lynn. Oh, you didn't even tell us. Perfect. Now I know which one to go to. Anybody want to uh, go to Satan's party tonight? One spare VIP ticket if you help me catch somebody. First come, first serve. Why do they call it Bobolin Park? Where there isn't a park. Or a Bobolin, for that matter. False advertising. Fake news. And I feel like this is going to actually be the harder one, but here we go. Is a uh, little Rantalian. Hey, twerps, I got an extra invite to Luke's house jam for anyone who wants to get your old pal Linda a margarita. Really? And then Little Rantalia really has that small town charm, and by that I mean it's boring AF. And everyone is secretly racist. So I have a feeling this would actually be the harder one, but you know what? Let's go with this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with this one. How do I choose it? Do I have to... Do I have to... Do I have to actually walk back? Is this... This is literal hell if I gotta walk back. Oh my goodness. Alright. Maybe he'll take us all the way down to the bottom and save us the trouble. Wanna go all the way to the bottom or take the long way? All the way down. Express, please. The full ride. You got it. Head it down. Watch your feet. Thank goodness. I thought I was going to have to walk all the way down. They're so kind. His tower is pretty awesome. Apparently, all of the other fallen angels also lived up here before. No, it's oh, just this feet are really sore. They got me pushing boulders up mountains all day now. It's good for your hamstrings, but some cardio wouldn't hurt, you know? Hey, do you guys know what the, uh, the falling out was between Satan and his friends? The, uh, the other fallen angels that used to live here? Don't know. And as long as it keeps the foot traffic away, don't care. Uh, taxi. It makes this much easier, having to be able to fly all the way back down. So now I get to pick a location. I think it's gonna be Ranga, Ranga, Rangalia. So, 
Oh, all partied out? Normally people are more covered in blood and viscera. No. But far be it for me to play that one. Not nearly done partying. We didn't even get in. There's a line around the fucking world back there. But we have a plan. Literally. Though. There's some people have invites and some people have uh, have spares. So if you wanted to get invited to cut the line, yeah, I don't need the damn transcript. Whose tree do you want to shake first? There's a demon in uh, Bobble and Park who says he needs help catching somebody. But there's also a human woman who just wants a drink. But we know so. it can't just be that, or else it would have already been done. So. Ah, classic case of too many good ideas. It's a dream's ball. Guess you got some picking to do. Yep, yep, and now I can make that choice. Cool. And it gives us all of our missions, too, listed. I'm gonna, I, as much as I know this is a bad idea, let's give the girl a drink. I just know this is a bad idea. Let's try Linda first, right? I know it sounds too easy, but maybe it is. It ain't gonna oh, be. I, just want on the record I have a feeling a, a margarita trap, okay? isn't even something a you can get here. Convenience. You're not like crazy fans of Linda, right? Because she's not too big into autographs. Or meeting people. Why Ooh, would we be fans? Did yeah. she like murder a de deposed baby king or something? She used to be the lead singer of that witchy witch band, Mercury Worm, back in the 70s. Mm. But do you really think she's gonna give us her invite just for buying her a drink? Uh, maybe. If that's what she said, she could use the company. But, you know, it might not entirely be up to her. What does that mean? Let's leave the spoilers till your second playthrough. Yeah, okay. What does that mean? Let's leave all the annoying questions till then, too, okay? Second playthrough. Next up, little Rontalia. Does the game play differently if you play it on a second run? Might actually have to do two back to back runs in this thing. Well, not back to back. Uh, hey, so speaking of, run like, uh, music, <laughs> was any of that stuff about playing records in reverse to hear satanic messages? Was it real? Oh, yeah. And not just records. TV shows, commercials. You know bus stops have those automated recordings? Play them backwards and you'll hear Satan whispering Chinese nuclear codes. <laughs> oh. But Lucifer and Rockstars have a real history, it's true. Something about needing to, to scream your ego out into the conjectural void is really attractive to unhallowed spirits, I guess. Is there music in hell, like, different from Earth? Like, has the chronographic and ethnological diversity in a supernatural environment developed unique harmonic genres? Yes. Exactly no, just like, what kind of fucked up music do demons make? Oh, every song's about one thing, doesn't matter who's making it. Why won't Tina call me back? <laughs> but music, the creative arts, has always been a thing for the damned. Slavery let the self-possessed invent crap like trumpets, and it's hard to really break from that lineage, you know? Anyways, we're almost there. Don't let on that you know Linda. She's kind of embarrassed about her solo album, Helicopter Fuckhouse. Understandable, understandable. Doesn't sound like a witchy witch type uh, uh, music. Huh. What are those the gates of? Okay, Little Rontalia, here we are. One of Hell's oldest districts, founded, uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, a carrot juice bar just opened up on the other side of town, and, uh, oh, the dirty hurdy gurdies just down the road there. That's where That's I got That's where be at. Linda said she wants a drink, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, kids, text me if you need a ride. Have fun at music camp. Music camp? Dirty hurdy gurdy. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I have heard of Mercury Worm. Yeah, didn't they reinvent themselves in the 80s, becoming some synth monstrosity? I've told you this a hundred thousand times before, but... But it's always been a dream of yours to be in a band. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you remember, uh, but I tried in that one talent show in sixth grade. I played a harpsichord and classical trumpet. Yeah, you were, uh, you were really good. Thanks. I know an educational jam band isn't to everyone's taste, but I think some of the faculty, or at least Mr. Thompson, liked it. He was nodding his head, at least. Mr. Thompson lost his hearing in Vietnam. Well, it's a beautiful country. I can give him the truth over time. It was just so embarrassing. Why do you keep stopping, kid? Being up on that stage, getting booed, or, uh, make friends. But maybe I'm just being melodramatic. Look, Milo, kids at that age are just dick bags. 
I mean, what 12-year-old's even heard of metal machine music? I think that was the music teacher that said that, but the mm. point still stands. Actually, it is a style. It's called industrial. It's uh, Nine Inch Nails, Trent Reznor, and the type of stuff that his uh, time frame was doing. Uh, bands around his time were basically making music out of, of sounds, banging cans, metal. Hell, Slipknot's Clown uses a giant steel drum and just bangs the shit out of it with a baseball bat as part of their musical sound. Uh, it's a... It's it's a thing. <laughs> so it's weird that the younger generation wouldn't recognize it, but... Industrial music was a thing for a minute. A sealed knot. Got a lot going there. Not yet, anyway. People got campgrounds down here? Okay. I do enjoy these environments. It's a pretty, well, a pretty as hell could be, but pretty nonetheless. <clears throat> the dirty hurting dirty. Assuming it's a bitch to get in. No, we're not here yet. Okay, nope, it's around the corner. Up the stairs, over the bridge, through the woods, chanting a Gregorian chant. You two, you there, the ebony woman and the lemon man. Ebony Hail woman. and well met. Hail man. and well met. Fuck off, I get enough racist cat calling at my therapist's office, thank you. All our sincerest apologies if we've offended you. We aren't up on the modern descriptors. Do you, uh, do you guys need something? That is so kind of you to offer. We would indeed humbly ask for your assistance. With what? Yes, could the Ethiopian please pick up the small whistle-like contraption resting there at my feet? Ethiopian? I'm afraid that's our tuner. Hadrian here dropped it. One's hand tends to get sweaty. Ex excuse me, Ethiopian? How the fuck did you guys die? A, a burning cross fall on you? <laughs> I don't understand that reference. Oh no, it's happening again. My sincere apologies. We don't always know the correct vernacular. African yes, we American mean you know or verbal black, it's fine. But if you could please hand us the fallen vocal adjuster whenever convenient, we'd be most appreciative. Thank you. Hmm. Can the tuner the channers? Sure, fuck it. What's it supposed to do? You go. Oh, you've done it. A surprise for the ages. Thank you so much. We certainly appreciate it. Even Longinus here is eternally grateful. I'm grateful to be true, but let's not engorge the phrasing here. Yeah, just uh, just watch what you say and how you say it next time. Yeah, this isn't, you know, 1992 or <laughs> whenever you guys died. Of course, of course. No, I think it's just hard to keep that. up with current trends when your body is kept motionless and in constant agony. I bet in that position all day long. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Althalos, you're still flat. Althalos don't care. What chant should we perform now that we the have The Mass our... of the Angels. That one has um, unripened for me in the past hundred years. What about Starbut Mater? I, well, maybe it's my Same opinion, something. but uh, I, I think it's my better time. when women perform that one. Well, then you pick the damn music then. No, no, no. I, I don't want to pick. It, it's, it can, it can be whatever you want. Whatever I want. Like the Italian restaurant last winter. I ate the lasagna. What more do you need? I need you just to voice your opinion so we don't argue about laundry detergent every breakfast. Okay. okay now they're talking about like things that make them seem like they're from a more a modern bit. time. Quietly. Oh, you guys suck. Well, there you go. Should've just kicked it in the river for him. Looks like we're at the hurdy-gurdy. The dirty hurdy-gurdy, but before I go in, I want to see if there's stuff further down. I always like to double-check the area. I'm a curious boy. I like to see what's around. It's usually nothing. I want to know what that door's about. That shit's some fucking demon from, uh, from Samurai Jack looking shit right there. All right, let's the go. The dirty hurdy gurdy. Well, by the looks of it, they serve a lot of lukewarm salmon. After you? Oh, no, no, no. After you. Lukewarm salmon. What makes you think that, based on the look of this? <laughs> oh, lordy. No, 
no, no. Here to the end of the story. Think that lonely-looking woman with a haunting stare and perfect cheekbones is... Is Linda. Yeah, you could have just said the one with the guitar. Yep, that's Linda, <gasps> right. Oh, don't be scared. We're just the accursed souls of dead musicians, forever trapped in this shithouse of schlock by that wretched virago, Ono Skellis. Oh. oh. Who's, uh... Ono Skellis, the grand negotiator, the band manager of Hades. And the fallen angel that owns the bar you're standing in. But if you want to talk to Linda, just take the cute purple mile down to the end. Okay. Get Misser. And be sure to check out our gift shop. So that's David Bowie. Uh, I believe in the little hey, uh, in this middle listen, is Amy Winehouse. This is gonna sound weird, but this is Elvis. With Linda, this Can is I, like do all the Jimmy talking. Hendrix here Why? on the end. It's just I've never gotten to be that guy, you know, ordering a woman a drink, sliding it across the bar. Hey, if you want to practice your cold calling in bars, be my guest. Just remember why we're here. Awesome. Yeah. No. Totally. Eyes on the prize. This would be a fun ass call. There's Michael Jackson back there on the right. Three bomb squads and uh, do you have anything with honey in it? Yeah, we have six drinks that contain wasp urine. Mm. Four bomb squads. I'll send them over to your table. Next! We're fresh out of priest bladder, but what can I get you? Lovable Lush. This is a Jeffrey Bomber. Anyway, scalding black turpentine brewed tea whiskey garnished with fragrant durian. Oh lord, that would be horrible. Student of Prague, a liquid gives you liquid courage, a dash of pox in a dead man's toe, a cult favorite. Woolen's Margarita, that's what we need. With liquid courage, tinderbox gin aged in the carcass of an alpine chamois. Oddly sweet. And the Black Death, a witty asshole. Your signature Lepros Lager, 16 full ounces of distilled bubo fluid. We're gonna grab some of that because I have a feeling it's gonna be what we need. I'm gonna have the Black Death. Clever dickhead, sure do love Black Deaths. Jesus. It's appropriate for a time frame, too. <laughs> yeah. well, it seems like every so many hundreds of years a virus comes along. I have a feeling I don't need to bring my own drink to be the same as hers, but it would help to be a witty asshole to deal with these witches. And, uh, one more for our friend over there, Linda Landon. Gotta tell me which drink. I'm not a drunk idiot mind reader. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, she's gonna probably want the margarita. I'll send a demon waiter over to her table with it. All right, let's go, uh, chat her up, get that invite. Perfect, that's exactly what I was hoping would happen. We get a little whiskey, or uh, liquid courage, so to speak, in there. No, the Salem witch trials were actually right. They just killed all the midwives and missed us. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, uh, excuse us. Is anyone here familiar with Linda Landon? Oh, uh, yeah, she's playing here tonight. That's why we're here. What about you? <clears throat> Trying to get into Satan's house party. You three, uh, wouldn't happen to know how to get into Satan's party. We're here because we think Linda has a spare invitation. <laughs> Good luck with that. Have you um, seen Linda around by chance? Maybe doing pre-show autographs? She's hanging out over yonder. Yeah, I've seen her. Not back there, though. But she hasn't done an autograph since 96. Yeah, the Sharpies down here scream when you use them. Good <laughs> to know. It is good to know. All right, let's go talk to her. <clears throat> Hi, I'm um, I, uh, <clears throat> yes. Ooh, oh, okay. Here's your margarita. A Woolen's margarita from the gentleman with the mulberry wig. <laughs> mulberry wig? How nice of you. Thanks. <laughs> Coming stag tonight? Did your friends bail on you or did you bail on them? Is that supposed to be a joke? <clears throat> Hey, is anyone else's story radar going fucking bananas right now? My story radar's as good as my gaydar, by the way. It's only ever been wrong once. Okay. And that animal control guy was at least by. Yeah, there's a story. I'm surprised you don't know it. I don't know. Let's find out. I'm Linda Landon, former lead singer of Mercury Worm, current denizen of the Fourth Circle. 
But judging by your starstruck faces, I'm sure you already knew that. Not that I would, you know, care too much if you didn't. Yeah, I can't say that I've heard of you. Unless... Oh. You're not badly mispronouncing the Lafayette Afro Rock Band, are you? So I take it you're not in town for the reunion at Satan's party tonight, then? What reunion? Ugh, oh, Jesus. Okay, some backstory. Mercury Worm was my band, obviously, but we broke up. Oh, and in my drink. discerning absence, they added a keyboardist Which and started collaborating switch. with 15-year-old DJs. The fuckers took a fame rocket ship to Planet Coke and Hookers, but they all just died in a plane crash like a week ago. I'm gonna pause real quick and see if there is an option for that, but I'm just not seeing. Controls. Options menu changes. Oh, move, interact, talk, drink. Nope, nothing. All right. That's all romantic, I want to see. right? But they're the hot new diarrhea, so Satan booked them for his house party tonight. Maybe all the album covers posing with drugged white tigers finally bit him in the I'm ass. Not sure who this is in the far other right. Places. Many other places, hopefully. Jim Morrison. Wait, Linda, just if you have a spare invite to Satan's party, we could really use it. See, now that's a problem. When I split from the band, I pledged my eternal soul to Satan for a solo career. Oh and it Lord. worked for about six months until my 27th birthday when I died Jim Paris in the Detroit Probably River. Now, Lord. part of my infernal Based contractual agreement is to perform shows here and ones tonight, so I can't go. But, and neither can my invitee, since you'd need to, you know, come in with me. They won't okay. let you in without me there, see? Sorry if you came just for that. Well, then why the hell did you say you had a spare ticket if the other person can't use it? Honestly, I just got tired of getting up to go to the bar. Wait, wait let me just uh, literally back this. You said there's a contract, right? Well, shit, people get out of contracts all the time. My uncle Jeff thought he had a prenup. He's living in a van in Reseda now. She took his damn hamster. Guys, look, what if we just we found a loophole or, or a replacement? Come on, give us something here. Yeah, it's gotta be a way to do this. Oh, it would be nice to be there when Mercury Worm falls on their faces. Okay. If you wanna try, you can try. But you gotta deal with Ono, my manager. She owns the bar. Yoko Ono? She's downstairs right now. No, probably Ono. Probably looking at another undeveloped talent. Good luck. She's... Yoko Ono's You somehow alive. managed to pull this off. I'll, uh... I'll be here. Waiting. She isn't gonna... She wouldn't, like, try to steal our souls and make us serve her daiquiris forever down here, would she? Do you have any artistic talent? No. <laughs> then no. She won't give a shit. Perfect. So Perfect. she's downstairs, you said? Well, he kind of does. This is a basement. Surprise! It's also a music venue. They dug a big shithole in here and shot out a stage. As for Ono, you can't miss her. She'll probably be yelling at one of her bedraggled assistants. We, uh, keep that in mind. Thanks. We'll be back. Okay, no. Okay. Oh, no. Let's just sweet talk her downstairs and get Linda off leash. Roger. Not sweet talk. Gotta use my abilities. Oh, oh good lord. Trying to keep track of all these different singer faces and who they are. Selena, probably on that one. That one's most likely Jim Morrison. Although the outfit seems wrong. I am not sure who this is in the middle. Maybe Lefty Left Eye Lopez. Or... Because they're all skeleton shapes. Or possibly, um... Alea. Yo, 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 I'm Verona. And I'm Peyton. And no together, idea what that we're one a is. Black House. And we're here with a new single off our mixtape. Not literally a mixtape, but a thing you can get with a download code if you follow us on Bicker. Hey, it's called I Get Mine. Drop the beat. Okay. Let's just check this out. Excuse me, sorry. Don't mean to interrupt this thing. Excuse me. What I is this? Get Who are mine. you? <laughs> We're in the middle of an audition. If you can't already tell. And I doubt very much that Black House appreciates the intrusion. Trust me, we're doing you a favor. I'm not even sure if this counts as music. Hey, Dishrag! We're sweating our tits off up here! So will you back your ass up off our collective crotch? Jeez. Actually, it's... okay. And we keep forgetting the words and... Okay, that's... 
Hey, look, I'm, I'm sure your family has told you this before, but don't quit your day job, which I'm guessing is something that requires very little self-esteem. I love the sarcasm. Hey, we don't come down to where you work and not the, the pen out of your hand because you're obviously a music critic. <laughs> Enough, you people we don't know. Church my scurry and you're in a hurry, so get out. Ha, uh, don't, don't mind him, kids, little Chattanooga choo-choos. Valak couldn't find the right spoon for his cereal this morning, so now he's a little ill-tempered. They don't have... An, there's no meeting scheduled. I, I just hit the pause button, okay? Give us a break here. You'd give a fucking rock a headache. <sighs> Fine. We'll continue this shortly. But house, thank you. I'm Ono <laughs> Skellis. Your name. Some folks call me Ono. That's my auxiliary, Valak. He girds and guards my affairs. I prefer the term executive peon, but... There you go. And you were explaining how you didn't really appreciate Black House's enthusiasm, which isn't... It's hard for me to disagree with you. Look, Ono, it's Linda's birthday. Can you believe it? <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. years ago, today, she was born, and now we, her good friends, are gonna throw her a party. Yeah, So. At least first place. The last time Linda had a birthday party, she was 15, working in her father's hot dog factory. Oof. She... Now, what is this really about? Come on, my stopwatch is running. You don't want Linda to work tonight? Why do you not want Linda to work tonight? Speak quickly now. Because it's the only way out of this shithole you freaks call home. We're doing the out drink Satan thing. So you need to take Linda out for her birthday tonight. Yes. So you can drink the night away at Satan's house and try to earn your way back home. Basically. And your father's label maker said what on your toy chests? Milo and Lola. Milo and Lola. Valak, how many years left on Linda's term sheet? Roughly 10,000 years. Linda got a discount for time served when she lived in San Antonio that summer. Okay, sold. She can have the night off. Nice. Yeah. But you'll have to find a loner. Uh, yeah? A replacement act. We can't be understaffed. Well, we're not talent scouts. I have no idea oh, how to corral exactly some put up here. random street performer in time. Well, you better take some night classes then if you want Linda ungrounded. Just find a musician. And don't just go and get any waterlogged corpse that's not at home watching TV, okay? No, definitely not these. It'll be, a uh, top shelf. I should... I'll cryptically add this. Think about the risk here, potentially, before you zip off to Never Never Land and fetch some Sarcoline crooner. What risk? The first word a human being ever said was property. I should know. I was there. Said it. I've bought souls for a baby's breath, and I've bought souls for a ham sandwich. The only difference was the stuff they thought they were getting in return. And for someone like Linda, who's so dog-shaking desperate to get out of a contract, that she'd send two souls who ain't been dead not 17 minutes to bargain with me? That's well, been I think the that. plan deserves scrutiny is all. Maybe check it for ticks before you scamper off on the songbird's behalf. Don't let her sell you out, kids. I see bad contracts signed every day. Hmm. Not well, wrong. What the it's fuck possible. did she mean by that? I only understood like half the damn words. Sarkaline crooner? Uh, I think she's saying that Linda could stab us in the back or something. Maybe like trick us into switching places with her. No, she wouldn't do that, right? You don't know what Linda Landon is capable of, children. Don't know but her don't actually. Be sure she's not no. Ono requires a replacement performance if you want her freed up for the party. And don't even daydream about returning until you do. Okie doke. All right. Now we just have to find some singers. Yes, yes, and, there's three uh, of them. I already got them. them to do this. You listen to more modern day pop garbage than I do, so maybe you should take the lead. Yeah, makes sense. Let's find some musicalists. I know exactly where I'm going, but I'm going to take a look Famous at this. Famous for his playing two guitars at the same time style, the Grand Duke of Hell, Astaroth, grew to musical prominence in the late 1970s before retiring from the stage to become a model train conductor. Huh. Interesting. Going up steals. I still want to know who that middle one is. Gwen Stefani's still alive too, but that was a style that she would have worn. Hey, Linda. Hey, what's up? Uh, contract negotiations are in process, as they say. 
You wouldn't be planning on, like, screwing us over or anything, right? What, like somehow shackling you guys to Ono in my place? Uh, in so many words. She's just messing with you. Besides, she'd be getting the wrong end of the stick on that one. You guys already so. lost your souls. This is true. All right, well, I don't think she has too much more going on. Just keep on going. You don't need a drink here, but I will check out this space. Yo, 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 I feel like we really fucked that up. Yo, yo, I know. Maybe we'll get another chance someday to really impress her. Wanna get like a hat or something? I already have the song Remains the Same on DVD. Nah, I'm good. I don't think we'd be able to take anything back with us anyway. Greetings and salutations, my classic 80s hip-hop enthusiasts. You wanna be our manager? We're trying to get Ono to take us on, so... No hmm. offense, but we'd rather keep trying with her. You two are really, uh, interesting. Not There's a really. certain theme to your work that really, uh, it doesn't particularly speak to me, but... Thanks for the compliment. But, uh, again, we're not interested. Look, we came over here to ask if you wanted to play for Ono tonight. It's a one-time thing, but it's real. Holy shit! That was actually not who I was Hold thinking up. of. Hold up, wait, no. Well, what is this for? Are we getting paid? Um, <laughs> um, no, actually, you'd be doing it kinda as a favor to Linda Landon. But it's also a great opportunity to try out for Ono again. And Ono specifically requested us? Mm, uh, well, uh, just know that she didn't specifically not request you. Uh, That's actually I'm a good I'm not thing. really feeling wined and dined here. Yeah, we're gonna pass on the town fair job, fellas. Thanks. <laughs> Shit, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, we need to find some other sucker. I mean, you know, a uh, loser. Oh no, oh no. Sorry to, uh, d but I, I have to ask. Why are you trapped here like a glittering fish in a very depressing aquarium? Oh, a sample of platter of reasons, really. I challenged Ono to a fiddle off. Lost. Because I forgot I don't know how to play the fiddle. I sold my soul for a number one hit. Died of a chocolate overdose not ten days later. Uh, to be... To be fair, I ate that much chocolate because I was on a lot of heroin at the time. I and I say. wanted to be the best guitar player in the world. Oh no, made it happen. And then I suffocated in a 52-person orgy. Mm. I'll be sure to uh, check out your guys' stuff when I get my streaming subscription back. Yeah, 52. thanks for the nickel. 52-person orgy. Good lord. All right, well, before I head back on out, I think I'm going to go ahead and hold off and... Uh, pick up on the next episode because I think I know exactly who we're going to get. I'm probably going to be talking to those monks. So I hope you guys have been enjoying this. And if you have, then I will see you all in the next episode of After Party. Have a great day. Oh, hey. I see that you guys are done with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, you can see another one over here on the right hand side. And of course, we've also got one on the left as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.